From Christmas celebrations to ushering in the new year and Chinese New Year, tis the season of feasting and festive indulgence. But as bellies filled up, so did landfill sites. Statistics show a disproportionate amount of food waste is generated over holiday periods. In the UK, household food waste typically rises 30 percent during the Christmas season. In Australia, 40 percent of food bought for the festive season ends up getting thrown away as more people eat out. But it's not just during the holidays. One third of all food produced each year doesn't get consumed, according to the UN's World Food Program. That's one trillion dollars worth of perfectly edible food ending up in the trash. But here in Asia, Singapore generated 665,000 tons of food waste in 2020. That's the weight of about 46,000 double-decker buses. As wasted food rots in landfills, it releases greenhouse gases that damage our environment. Now, putting this into perspective, if food waste were a country, it would be the third largest polluter after China and the U.S., Yet only 11 of the 192 national climate plans in the Paris Climate Agreement tackle this issue. So why so much food being wasted? Experts say in developing countries, that's often due to a lack of infrastructure and knowledge about food storage combined with unfavorable weather. In high-income countries, it's a lack of hardship and economic privilege, plus a preference for aesthetically pleasing produce and sell-by dates. As food prices continue their upward march due to COVID-related supply disruptions, tackling food waste could be a win-win for both our wallets and the environment. But figuring out how much food we are throwing away isn't an exact science. But one Singapore company is promising to change all that. It has developed a tool that can measure and track food waste using sensors, cameras, and artificial intelligence. Raina Loy, the founder of Lumatix, tells me, how technology is starting to play a bigger role in tackling this global issue. So in my opinion, food waste is one of the world's most overlooked uh, and pressing environmental uh, problem. And when I looked at the available solutions out there to tackle this massive problem, what I saw was many solutions in the food waste recycling space and also many charities and organizations looking at food redistribution. However, there were almost no companies in the world looking at food waste prevention. And I very quickly grew the conviction that prevention is far more important than recycling and redistribution. That conviction gave rise to Insight, an AI power tracker. It aims to help restaurants and commercial kitchens monitor how much avoidable waste they're generating. The first thing you'll notice about this device is that it fits perfectly with a standard size 120 litre bin. This is a common bin that's you know, used in, in almost all commercial kitchens today. It's easy to use our device, right? It's a simple one-step process. I and mean, they will simply just toss the food waste in onto this platform right here. Uh, there's a weighing scale sensor beneath this. And all you gotta do is just press this one button. At the same time, we also take a picture. Uh, from this camera right here, and that picture gets sent to the cloud and we run our AI models to be able to identify what has been thrown away. So Rainer, how accurate is it? I mean, let's say there's a combination of food here. Would it still work? Absolutely. So we've trained our AI models to be able to identify more than 2,000 unique food items as of today. You know, even individual ingredients. So say, for example, ham or roast beef was thrown away from the buffet line, we're able to identify that. And also, as you've mentioned, if there's, say, a more complex Uh, item where there are a combination of ingredients. We can also train our AI to identify that as a dish. Loy says, on average, its AI tracker has been able to help clients reduce their food waste by as much as 40%. So the key really in what we're offering is helping kitchens understand their food waste at a very granular level. Meaning to say, um, you know, we think it's not very meaningful if I just tell a chef, hey chef, you threw away, you know, 100 kg of food yesterday. What can he or she do? Uh, Whereas, when the information is granular, if we're able to tell the chef, hey chef, of the 100 kg, say for example, 10 kg of that was raw chicken that was just thrown away. Now with that level of granularity, then the information becomes what we call meaningful and actionable. Sky Restaurant in Singapore began trials with the Insight Tracker in 2019. The director of culinary operations says the smart tool has not only helped cut wastage, but is also good for the bottom line. 
after the first sort of two weeks, three weeks of getting the data, we realized that actually some of the products we were wasting much more than we had initially thought. Uh, and also then we looked at uh, some of the more expensive products that we were using. Um, and we realized that if we actually changed, say for example, we changed the, the cut of the salmon uh, and brought it down by five or 10 grams over a month, it would reduce our waste by about three and a half to four kilos. It's actually the cost and it's also the time that is uh, put in for the actual team to actually produce the product. Um, so it has an overall effect. Lumatix's main clients are large hotel chains and airline businesses, but it plans to expand beyond restaurants as its technology improves and becomes more efficient. We have identified several other verticals that we would also like to, to explore. So say for example, the cruise industry, because they run 24-7 buffet lines. And other verticals such as maybe um, farms or maybe even retail, the supermarkets. Uh, we know that there's a lot of food waste that's happening in those verticals and it's in our plans to, to explore those verticals in, in the near future.